My name is uh, Ben Kalos. I didn't want to take more than five minutes of your time. I will try to talk modules briefly. Uh, but the reason I'm actually here is because I'm running for city council. And so I think if we got a Drupal developer oh, elected, elected to city council, that would be awesome. Hey, please get around. <laughs> Ben Kalos, I will be offended if you guys do not have your phones out and you're not tweeting about this. Oh um, this is the opposite of regular speakers because, again, uh, we're Drupal devs and we know a little bit better. So, really quick, um, back in 2009, I was on a community board. Does anyone know what a community board is? Okay, that's not as many as there should be. They're the lowest form of government in the city. There is one. <laughs> uh, and uh, you guys can get appointed to them. Each one of them has 50 people on it. Uh, my community board was spending obscene amounts of money on their website, so much so, so that when I gave them a Drupal site for free, they were able to hire a full-time staff person. That's how much do it and the fund for New York City, that is how badly they are hurting the city. So as soon as I built this, it was actually the first community board site to have a Twitter. Uh, there's a, when we had the Twitter module, it's actually set up so you can just have a cool uh, check off on the module so that... Uh, Anything you post to the site automatically goes out to uh, Twitter. So there we go, we talked about a module. The other quick module here is it's a calendar. And the reason I actually built this is because, uh, does anyone live near noisy bars or things like that or neighborhood nuisances? So <laughs> when I built this back in 09, uh, we had the location module which gave you geolocation and the idea was you'd be able to sign up, put down your zip code or even your address and then get a notification using subscriptions or uh, other modules to say, hey, look, uh, somebody just applied for a liquor license on your block. The features were built. They wouldn't let me turn it on. Uh, but that's part of why I'm running. So <laughs> then uh, New York State Senate comes. Uh, does anyone here know Andrew Hoppin? So, perfect. So Andrew Hoppin builds New York State Senate. He gets a job. I say, you have to use Drupal. He says, awesome. I say, you also have to use Civi CRM because that's the back end I'm using on Community Board 8. And so we have Bluebird CRM. You guys pretty much rebuilt CRM. Um, one of the things I love about the uh, Drupal community and also the city community is you can go on the IRC channel, ask people lots of questions. You don't have to wait for this monthly meetup. And sometimes you have crazy things happen, like you're asking Donald Lobo, who pretty much created Civi CRM, for help on specific problems, and he answers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I did the uh, state party website again because I said to them, I have this cool idea to democratize politics. We can use a bunch of cool modules. We can give every single elected official in the state their own website. I was going to use organic groups. We built all the functionality. And uh, the first thing they did is say, turn everything off and turn it into a 1.0 site. So you, you have this. Uh, all of you know when you build really cool features and your clients are like, we're really glad you, you installed 88 or plus modules and it does cool stuff, but you just turn it off. We just want it to be a blog. Why couldn't you have done this in WordPress? So slightly frustrating. I built a whole bunch of different uh, products for city, state, and federal, political, and uh, politics. Uh, I launched my own site. It's in Drupal. We built this back in 09, then ported it again uh, because of the new... Uh, Drupal's that were new uh, versions that were out. It's a city CRM backend. Uh, we have a 124 solutions platform. So I wrote to New York Tech Meetup, said, hey, I'd really love to present on this platform. Uh, you can go on our site. This is our tech platform. There's a whole ton of ideas. There's one on using open source technology like Drupal instead of whatever the city was paying way too much for. And so people could vote on it. And uh, this one idea actually has about 534 votes. So I presented that to Tech Meetup. One year later, they did an idea scale. As a Drupal person, I'm a little bit frustrated. I wish they had just stuck with using a, a Drupal product, but they did an idea scale, and I'm really glad they're going to do it. We're going to adopt their platform. Uh, what I'm asking is, all of you here, please go to Chaos for Council, sign up, uh, use the uh, solutions platform. You're literally just creating nodes. Uh, it's CCK, and uh, we've got vote up, vote down, comments, and uh, all sorts of other fun stuff. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Do you intend to make the train 24 hours? <laughs> I, I have five, so what were you saying? Do you intend to make the train 24 hours? Uh, on Roosevelt Island? Yeah. Uh, you're a Roosevelt Islander? I know people there. Okay, so Joe right there is my Roosevelt Island director. He, he's a, uh, 
he'll be working on making that happen. He's also been walking around handing out uh, palm cards. We'd love your support and sign ups. Yes. He's been up to Queen's TA meeting. Uh, transportation Alternatives. Yeah. Uh, I'm a member of Transportation Alternatives. I do the New York City Century. I love it. I'll be there whenever you guys want me. Make sure you talk to Joe. Yes. What can my city council do? Uh, so you know in, in how we spent. Seconds or less. Do you know how we spent 700 million dollars on city time? Uh, imagine if instead of spending 700 million dollars on city time, we actually spent the 50 million we were supposed to and did it with an open source product like Drupal with modules and actually. We're smart about how we invested our money in tech infrastructure. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your time.